Hello everybody, it's Blue Jay Artist and today we are coming at you with you guessed it if you read the description or the title of the video we are doing a rant and this rant will be about Scourge and Soul now before I start I just wanna say can you guys please um if you I love suggestions and I would happily do them but just put it in the most recent rant that I've done or else I will like lose track of them right away. So please do that. Thank you. Uh, and we're gonna begin. So Scourge. Um, I'm not a giant fangirl of his, but I do like him. And I will tell you my reasons why. It was nice to I thought it was random to see this this, you know, this kid, the little tiny like cat who had all these like dog teeth on him and cat teeth and like dog two teeth for his claws and just waltz into the forest and killed our giant main protagonist and I'm happy and they and then they just killed him and I was yes that was what had to happen for the plot and I thought it was nice to see a backstory because if they had just given me that I would have been like hold on wait a second why are they just giving us this this would be a perfect cat to explain in some kind of short story and I wish this would have been an ebook personally, but that's just me. Um, but I his story is extremely sad, and basically, if you want to know what happens in it, you know what happens? Karma. Why? Because okay, so he gets bullied by his brother and sister, and then they come back to him years later, and asking for like food and shelter, and then the guy who basically like beat him up as a kid came back and he killed him so it was really all karma and I thought his rise to power was extremely really everything was really sad and I wonder I just I don't know he's a sad person they he, he should he's a sad person and cat he is a sad cat and he should really I do get why people fangirl over him because well, one, he doesn't have a mate, so he's up for grabs. And two, I think he's really fun to draw, so that's why all the fangirl artists like him. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say about Scourge. And now we're going to move on to Soul. I hate Soul. I mean, there's usually... Soul is a character where only a few people like him, and not many, but... There are a few of those people who do, and I'm not insulting them. I just, I don't, me, I don't like Soul, so I'm not one of those people. But for you, for you people who do like Soul, you go. You go. Way to, way to stick with the character you love and never abandon them. That's great. But I'm just going to share my opinion about who I, why I do not like Soul. He, uh, well, actually, this is a good character trait, but he never gives up, but in a bad way. Like, okay. He got kicked out of Sky Clan, so he goes to all the other clans and like, what's up? I'm here to organize all your clans. And then he messes up uh, um, Shadow Clan, and he, yeah, and, and he just doesn't stop. And then he goes to Wind Clan, like, stupid One Star thinks he could totally, like, trust this guy who nearly drove Shadow Clan to, like, almost not being Shadow Clan anymore. Are you crazy, man? So they're, like, down in the tunnels, and Dove and Ivy are down there, and they're listening. And then Soul's all like, oh, yeah, we'll attack Thunder Clan camp. I'm sure of it. And Idiot, like, Idiot Star, one star, is over there, like, oh, yes, this is gonna work. Very good job. We shall do this. Charge! And I don't know. Finally happy that Hollyleaf just kicked his butt, and we were just over with him. He's just an extremely annoying character. Alright, this might be a little bit short, I apologize, but I just didn't have much to say about these characters. Like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure that you leave comments in this video for suggestions. Alright, 